And every now and again, a news story does break that stops you in your tracks somewhat. Stories that say a little bit more than just the incident itself, as if this couldn't get any more tragic. We know that five people were rushed to hospital after a terrifying sword attack in East London this morning. We now know that a 13-year-old has died as a result of this attack. There were two police officers originally and three members of the public injured after reports that a car had driven into a home in Hainault shortly before 7 a.m. this morning. The footage, which many of you will have seen, posted on social media, shows a, the, the suspect wielding a sword, wearing a yellow hoodie, prowling the streets and crouching beside homes. But here's the thing. How did we get here? How did we get to this? It's not the first time we've seen people casually prowling the streets carrying a three-foot blade. And you know what? We're no longer quite as shocked as we once were. If anything defined broken Britain, it is incidents like this. Whatever the circumstances behind this, the result is that a 36-year-old man now arrested felt emboldened enough to go on a killing spree in broad daylight. Knowing that half the world has a camera, doorbells are recording your every move, and this person was still OK with that. I mean, neighbours talked about waking up to piercing screams. A man covered in blood. I'll say it again. Broad daylight. In the last couple of hours, Rishi Sunak issued a statement. He said the Hainault stabbings were shocking, adding that such violence has no place on our streets. Well, we know this, but it's all over the place, Prime Minister. Feral kids, smackheads and the criminally minded seem more than relaxed to carry out fatal attacks in plain sight. This place is a flipping mess right now. We're upon the, up the proverbial what's it without a paddle as we speak. 0344 uh, We're asking that question this morning about the streets of the United Kingdom. Are our streets any longer safe? 0344 499 1000. That is where you will find us. I find this, I don't ever want to get used to this new, I don't want to ever feel like, oh, it's just another incident. I don't want to feel resigned to this level of knife violence on my streets. I don't want to go home and just notch it up as another news story. I'm trying to imagine. And it's difficult, the devastation of a family who've just lost a 13-year-old. A child has died at the hands of a, a sword, for goodness sake. A sword, not an accident, not a, an issue that could happen any day of the week. We understand an accident. Broad daylight, a child is dead, others are injured in hospital. And we sort of glimpse over this a little bit. And we shouldn't. If anything defined broken Britain, that is it. Are our streets any longer safe?